And welcome back to You Were John at 120. I am Jeff Cliff, and this is a series of 120 videos of things that I learned at the University of Regina as part of a four year degree, although it took a little bit longer than four years to uh, take, uh, of, uh, towards a uh, Bachelor of Computer Science. Uh, and so this is uh, basically one uh, thing per credit hour uh, that I found of value that I learned. Uh, that I would like you, the listener, to also know, so that you don't have to go to uh, the University of Virginia and give them th tens of thousands of dollars uh, to get these particular lessons. Although there's a lot of things that I learned that I'm not going to teach you. Uh, you know, I can teach you everything that you know, but I'm not going to teach you everything that I know. Ha ha. So today, like other days, we're going to be talking about a logical fallacy, uh, and this particular logical fallacy is going to be the red herring logical fallacy. So uh, this is going to be an important lesson. Uh, this is one of the most important uh, logical fallacies that you'll, you'll absolutely find people doing. Uh, if you pay attention, you, if you read between the lines, you can see people doing this in practice all the time, in relationships, all the way up to national elections. It happens. You have to kind of watch it and watch carefully for people to, 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 to use this because it's going to happen uh, and so it's it's an important thing to watch out for in general and the uh, you know so, so what what exactly are we talking about here so uh, for example uh, one of the things that uh, in has been going on I in the world as of this week uh, at least as has been brought to my attention is Microsoft has been uh, uploading the next version of its operating system, Windows 10, uh, kind of whether or not people consented to it, um, to users of Windows 7. And uh, although in, in theory you can turn it off if you kind of know where to go and have been paying attention and kind of keep an eye on your configurations and your settings and stuff like that, uh, Windows 10 will be downloaded without you noticing. Uh, so be on the watch out for that. And so while that's going on, we're in beautiful Thunder Bay. You know, the weather's awesome. Uh, it's, it's just the beginning of fall. And uh, you, you, can, you can see the, the lake. It's, it's a beautiful view. This is something that you don't necessarily get in Saskatchewan. I mean, in Saskatchewan, we've got the sky. It's a beautiful sky. You know, you can go out during the sunset. Uh, you get all these colors, especially if there's a lot of, you know, pollutants in the air. Uh, you get the really, you know, nice reds coming out. Uh, and you, it, you, you can even, like, during the, the thunderstorms, see a lot of, uh, you know, the, the, the scope of the sky move, especially if you go way out in the prairies while these storms are going on. You can really see the, the movement of the clouds, uh, especially during really violent storms, which are awesome to watch. Unfortunately, while we do have storms here, they're not quite as intense. Uh, but for the most part, there's more to look at here. you got lots of rocks. I just went on a zip line this past week or two. Uh, it was apparently the biggest zip line in Canada. Very fun thing to do. Uh, highly uh, suggest once in your life see if you can find the zip line that I went on and go down it. It's uh, not super cheap, but uh, it's it, it's something to at least uh, experience once in your life. And uh, so, you know, I, I went on this th this zip line, and I, I was thinking to myself as I was going down because I mean you kind of it, it's 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 exciting. Uh, but if you don't keep your mind kind of focused on what's going on, you can miss things. And, and so you can kind of miss the, the underlying kind of point of why you're falling down this, this rabbit hole or this, this cliff or this, this side of this thing, uh, when there, there might be things kind of going on around you that you, you might not be picking up. Uh, and so you, you might not be kind of seeing the, the, the people around you uh, same, same thing in, in, in kind of social, social situations sometimes, where you can get into conversations and not necessarily see the bigger picture, not necessarily see the, 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 the kind of ways that the broader trends around you are moving, and you know, it, it, you, you really have to like wake up a little bit sometimes and just kind of stand, stand back and look to see if the, 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 the things that you're, you're talking about are actually being mentioned, uh, are actually having... Um, kind of an impact on, on what you're trying to talk about, uh, maybe, or, or, or the, the people that you're talk, talking to, are they kind of really talking to you about things that you're talking about, or are they kind of purely seeing things in terms of themselves, uh, or they're purely seeing things in terms of the conversations that they want to have, uh, that, that could be going on as well. 
but uh, there is always things going on around you, and you should always be paying attention to them. Uh, but, uh, oh wait, you know, weren't we supposed to be talking about something here? Right, didn't I just start this whole conversation uh, with a suggestion of what we were going to be talking about? Of course, that's what I've been trying to kind of get across here, which is that you can sideline the conversation. You can, you can stop talking about one thing without explicitly stopping the conversations and go on to an entirely different topic. Uh, if you're really good at this, people won't even notice while you're doing it. And this is the essence of the red herring, where you can start an argument and try to be convincing the opponent of one thing, and by sleight of hand, uh, intentional or otherwise, end up talking about something completely different. End up making a conclusion that is completely, not even not supported by your evidence, but completely irrelevant in every way, shape, or form. And so this is something that you should be watching out for, uh, and something that is going to come up, as mentioned. Hopefully you enjoyed this brief chat we've now had. Uh, if you have any questions about what Thunder Bay is like or how you can avoid committing the red herring fallacy, uh, feel free to ask them in any where where this video is posted. Uh, and uh, as usual, uh, please donate if we uh, have the Bitcoin address up and ready here so we can get more whiteboard markers, which we so desperately need. Hopefully you enjoy, and uh, thanks for listening.